All right, so we are making a, an attempt at the square skillet. Actually, I way over complicated. <laughs> Took the pattern out.
So there's the drag. And there's the cope. Lots of vent holes, a feeder, a couple of sprues. So yeah. We'll see what happens. Next we'll fire up the furnace over here. Just started the furnace, oh, five minutes ago. It is 4.15. And uh, it's not anywhere near melting yet. And there is the mold we're gonna pour. I made two sprues and two basins. We will see you back after we have hot metal. Looks like we could have little work to do on the furnace. Uh, I've had issues with this before. There's a, a hot spot right there. Uh, that's lined with refractory, but it does break down sometimes. Um, most of the fire is right there. But a uh, little bit about this furnace. So originally I had the, the gun right up against the furnace body, uh, but the problem is then the uh, flame shot out two feet above the hole and there wasn't as much heat inside the furnace body. So I made this extension, and yes, those are cast aluminum, so that the fire has more time to burn. Okay, well that didn't turn out so well. Uh, before I had a good hot crucible, it just burned all the way through. And uh, got a little bit of metal I need to pour out yet. And my casting didn't turn out because the crucible couldn't get hot enough from this problem. So, live and learn. I think I'll line that with fire brick next. I had used my uh, sodium silicate refractory, and that stuff just doesn't take the heat. Not from this burner. Okay, so I got the furnace all apart. And uh, pretty interesting what I found. That right there is what was made it up to the inlet on the body. And uh, it is <laughs> not well. I mean, it's like choked off, all clogged up. There's the hole that was in the side. So I think I'm going to try something different with the refractory. I think I'm going to actually line that with fire brick. So here's a look at the burn tube after firing. This part here has set up nice and hard. And looks like we don't have any sort of sagging or dropping. It's a little bit of a soot right there. That's kind of interesting. I suppose we'll clean that out. Oh, that's interesting. That that fire brick. I don't know if you can tell in the video. It's glossy, so it has turned to glass, and it seems to be the new style fire brick that did that. This newer, more porous fire brick, it's kind of turning to glass, whereas the old hard style didn't. Very interesting. <clears throat>